Cork City, one of the worst teams in the entirety of FIFA. I don't know what has led me to this point in life, but today we're gonna take Cork City from one of the worst teams in Ireland, one of the worst teams in FIFA, to the best team in the world. Minnows of the Irish League to champions of Europe. Today, we rebuild Cork City. But if you guys do go on to enjoy today's rebuild, I expect this one to take a very long time. Make sure you leave a like on the video. Also, if you are new around here, make sure you bloody scorpion kick that subscribe button down below. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have not seen a rebuild video in the past, here are the rules. The objective of the rebuilds are to win the UEFA Champions League final. All games in the rebuild are simulated. We cannot use the new jump in feature in rebuilds. The Champions League final, however, must must be played and of course do not get butt hurt if I sell your favorite player there's the rules and objectives now it's time to jump into the rebuild so here's a look at the starting 11 we start life at Cork City with and if I'm being brutally honest lads it's crap it is a terrible side we have a massive 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 task ahead of us and the thing as well is we are in the Irish League, which isn't a prestigious league in FIFA. So we're going to have a very tough time signing players that aren't in like the top leagues. We have to go to the depths of football. It might be all right to start with, but down the line, this is going to be a challenge. So we're going to have to rely heavily on our youth academy. As you can see, this is the youth prospects we have been given with to start off this rebuild. Not sure if any of them are going to become absolute world beaters, but I'm willing to find out. May as well get a few of them into the side nice and early as well. Leon Baumgartner, Austrian centre midfielder. Welcome to the Cork City starting 11. And with our limited funds, I'm going to set up a youth scouting academy in the Republic of Ireland. Get some homegrown talent into the side. Also going to hire a new scout here, a Norwegian scout, Amund Haag. And we're going to send him to Switzerland. Why? I don't know, but we're doing it. We're doing it. And the first piece of business in charge of Cork City. It's monumental, lads. We're sending Dale Holland to Waterford FC on loan. Huge, I know. David Harrington also off on loan, off to Sarpsborg. I want to get a lot of these younger players out on loan, getting them growing, and then hopefully selling them on for a little bit of money down the line. And the big 49 rated Ricardo Dinanga also out on loan. Hopefully we can get him to the 50. But here we go, lads. Our first signing in charge of Cork City, our first big signing, is for Kusini Yangi. Now, if you follow the A-League, you would know this guy. This guy has really gotten his shot at Adelaide in the A-League this year and is an absolute menace to society. Just go look up his highlights on YouTube. Go look at the clips of him. He's been in the league for a few months and has already caused so much shithousery to last a lifetime. Kusini Yangi, welcome to Cork City. Planning on turning this guy into a striker. Joshua Honahan is out on loan at Derry City as well. So there we go, lads. Yangi into the side. Wanted to get one signing in, but the majority of this career mode, this rebuild, at least for the start, is going to be Youth Academy focused. I want to make that a big part of our side. Also, I should point out the seasons are flipped around here. So we've started started off in the January transfer window and had the summer transfer window at the halfway point. But this is how the side looks, getting a little bit of morale in there, trying to train Yangi into becoming a striker. Rocking the 4-4-2 formation, but I just want to build out the foundations to kick things off. So our first few players that I've really become interested in are in the Youth Academy, and we're going to promote this kid here, Aaron Wenger, maybe related to Arsene Wenger, well Aaron Wenger his name is now, but 59 rated right back, 17 years of age, from Switzerland. Hopefully we can turn him into an absolute beast. Welcome to the first team. Arnar Noradal, I don't know. I've gone to Iceland with our youth academy and I do not know how to pronunciate this guy's name, but we're gonna promote him regardless. And Reese Boyle, one of the guys that started off in our youth academy is gonna be promoted to the starting lineup as well. Finally getting some Irish youth talent into the side. Mark Tierney getting promoted to the senior team as a left midfielder. So here we are lads. Halfway through season one, 18 games played in the Irish League. We find ourselves seven. If I'm being honest, I have no expectations early on. I want to build towards something special down the line. But for now, we're building. 
We're building. I'm not even going to try pronunciating this guy's first name. I apologize to all my Irish viewers. The amount of times I'm going to stuff up names in this rebuild is going to be a record for the channel. But we are selling Morrissey here to Chindia for £240,000. The fact that we have to go outside of the big leagues to sign players is giving me a bit of a... Bit of encouragement to go to the A-League. We've signed Mark Natter, who is the centre-back for my club, the Western Sydney Wanderers. This kid is absolutely killing it in the A-League this year. Come out of nowhere and is a starting player for the Wanderers. Very excited for his future in real life. But we're taking him away from the Wanderers and bringing him to Cork City in this rebuild for £290,000. So there we go, lads. Mark Natter into the side. Morrissey out of it. Pretty tame window. So I'm just going to absolutely go off here and promote every single kid that is able to be promoted to the senior team if they're 17, 18, 16, whatever. If they can be promoted, I'm going to promote them out of the youth academy and really get players going all over the world. But after season one, we have stayed seventh in the Irish League. Dundalk have won the Irish League in season one. Shamrock Rovers have taken down St. Pat's to win the Irish Cup. And because of the seasons being being reversed, I need to remember to look at the Champions League and Europa League winners halfway through our season. So, I uh, yeah, halfway through season two of Champions League right now. But a foundation year here at Cork City, season one done and dusted. Let's crack on and keep building something special. We have loaned out this Irish kid, Evan McKnight. Looks like a bit of a beast, but I want to get in some game time because Reese Boyle is starting it for us right now. So we've sent him to Henan Jianye in the Chinese League on a season-long loan. And Corey Galvin is out of the club, headed to Carlisle United for £240,000. Fabio Piero, which is one of the coolest names, the Swiss, Swiss midfielder, headed to Sweden for the season, but... Fabio Piero, that is a cool bloody name. And once again, we are sending David Harrington on loan. He's gonna be a world traveler by the end of this rebuild. He's off to FC Juarez in Mexico. Another permanent transfer here though, Charlie Fleming gone for good. He's off to Sarpsborg for 94,000 pounds, breaking the bank boys. And we have sourced ourselves another defender, another center back to line up alongside Mark Natter. It is Reese Staunton, the Irish defender coming back to his homeland, signing here from Bradford City for 510,000 pounds. So there we go, another window done. But this is how the starting 11 is looking now. Some of our youth academy players already getting off to some uh, decent starts. Boyle and Wenger already up to 64 and 62. Yangi up to a 60. Just want the growth to keep coming. Again, like I said, lads, not too fast on a performance on the park early on. Ninth, though, in the Irish League is a little bit worrying. Our Greek attacking midfielder, Makis Luvaris, is headed to Saudi Arabia on loan, however. And we've decided to make another upgrade to the starting 11. This time, it is up top. We have headed to the MLS, gone to San Jose Earthquakes, and broken the bank to sign Cade Cowell. Cade Cowell? I'm trying to think of, like, Simon Cowell, the uh, American Idol buddy judge. But Cade Cowell is joining us here for 1.15 million pounds. And since we've got Yankee and Cal, that means Ricardo Dianaga or Dinanga, I'm gonna load him out again, keep trying to grow him up, he's off once again. Coleman out of the club, the Irish midfielder, headed to Hamilton in Scotland, I believe, for 280,000 pounds. And Kevin O'Connor, also out of the club, off to China, off to Yangsu Suning for £520,000. It's a window full of departures. This time, though, it's just a loan departure as Cargbo is headed to Falkenbergs on loan. And we have decided to take a little bit of an L short term. So O'Connor was, what, 63, 64 rated? We've sold him and brought in Ryan Campbell Gordon. He's coming across from Port Vale. It's a decrease in overall now. But long term, I hope for it to be a better pickup. So there we go, lads. It's a pretty busy window, if I'm being honest. A pretty busy window halfway through season two. Again, I just want some growth in the squad. Please, FIFA, give me some growth in the squad. Hey, man. 
Any progress is good progress. We've gone from ninth to eighth. Moving on up in the world, we have finished eighth in the Irish League here in season two. Bohemian have won the Irish League this season, though one point ahead of Shamrock. Bohemian have done the domestic double. They've won the Irish Cup over Shamrock. Poor season for Shamrock. One of these days I will remember, lads. One of these days I'll remember to show you the Champions League results halfway through the season. But there we go, lads. The process continues. Trust the build. Trust the process. Season two, done and dusted at Cork City. We keep moving. Kicking off season number three here at Cork City, a player departure as we have sold Liam Busson. She that transfer be Busson, my dude. I've been watching too much TikTok, lads. I apologize. But we've sold Liam Busson or Busson to SC Sion for six hundred and ten thousand pounds. I've also sent Asbjorn Forarinson, the Icelandic goalkeeper, to Barrow on loan, and Thomas Blondal is headed to Arba Club in Saudi Arabia on loan. We are going to sign our first first ever free agent regen player in this rebuild. Nice little burp to welcome in Victorino M. Carvalheira Texoto. I'm just going to call him Victorino. We've signed the Brazilian defender here on a free transfer. 67 rated, which is an absolute steal. Very excited to see what this guy can turn into. But another one of our Icelandic Youth Academy products out on loan. Fjordstedt off to Akademikaya. What the hell am I trying to say? As a kid, I had to do speech pathology and I'm pretty confident my speech pathologist watched me try to pronunciate names like that and says, yeah, we failed, we failed. Give his mum a refund. We may as well call ourselves Lone FC right now, lads. Robert Slaven is headed to Hiroshima on a season long loan. So there we go, lads. A pretty busy start to life in season three, but if you looked at the report, you'd think it was a pretty basic one. A lot of loans, Bussin and Carvalhiera into the club and out of the club. Let's see what the side's looking like. Again, the growth of some of these guys has been absolutely phenomenal. Boyle already up to a 67. Could he be the next hero? Yangi and Cal also at 63. Wenger at 64. I'm excited, lads. I'm liking the progress so far. We would be competitive in League 2 at this point. Come on, lads. Progress. Progress. Let's go. We're sitting third in the Irish League right now. Highest I've ever been. It's only halfway through the season, but it's progress. This kid looks like an absolute dud of a prospect right now, but the Serbian winger Savka Vlasic is headed to Dunkirk on a season-long loan. And we have decided to make an upgrade in between the sticks as Ryan Schofield is joining us here from Huddersfield for £2.4 million. Pounds. That could be a club record transfer fee at Cork City. Rory Doyle, maybe the most Irish name known to man. He's headed to St. Pat's on loan. And Connor Fanning is headed to Kirk Turk Gusu in the uh, third Bundesliga, I believe, on a season long loan. But the signing of Schofield has me excited, lads. It is a massive addition in between the sticks. We know he's got a bit of, bit of talent about him, so I'm excited to see if he can grow. But we have qualified for Europa League football next season, lads, which is an absolute laugh. Pretty sure we have to go through the qualify qualifying rounds for every sort of European football. But we finish third in the Irish League, given we went from eighth to third. That is a pretty significant improvement. Still no silverware, however, lads, as St. Pat's have won the Irish Cup. And it's a decent start to life, I guess, for Cade Cowell, as he's joining us and signing, or scoring 13 goals in this season here. Yengi with 11, five assists for him, Boyle with 12. The lads are picking it up. But there we go, season three with Cork City done and dusted. We move, lads, we keep on moving. Bring on season four. A player departure to kick off season four now, though, as Alec Byrne has signed for St. Pat's for £250,000. Also, just wanted to give a shout out to Logitech and Blue Microphones. They've brought, sent across some new equipment for the setup. Got this new microphone here that we've been using and the new stream cam. Absolutely loving both of them. Thanks for the products. We're really clearing out shop in this fourth season, though, lads. Dylan McGlade headed to Harrogate Town for £210,000. Robert Sleeven finally leaving the club. I'm happy I loaned him out because it's given him that extra bit of growth, which in turn has probably given us about an extra £200,000 to work with. He sold for £410,000. And we have found ourselves another regen free agent player, Julio Cesar. 
Leal Diaz here. I'm just going to call him Julio Cesar because that is a cool ass name. Shout out the goalkeeper. But we've signed the Spanish midfielder. 64 rated. Welcome to Cork City. So there we go. That's the transfer done. It's been a tra pretty frustrating transfer window. A few players I've been trying to go in for. Couldn't get them. Hopefully make those improvements in the next window. But... We keep moving. And this is what the squad is looking like at the start of season number four. Need to get the sharpness up slightly. But Boyle, the first man, actually I lie. I mean, the first man that I've grown to the 70s, but Schofield's the first player to start in the 70s here. But this is what the side's looking like. I'm happy with the development. Let's go, lads. Is this the new era? Is this the era of domination at Cork City? We are top of the Irish League here, halfway through season number four. Currently eight points clear. Are we gonna get our first piece of silverware in charge of Cork City? Also, it only took me four years, but I finally remembered to show you the Champions League updates halfway through the season. Barcelona won the Champions League this year. I have no idea if they've won four in a row, but they've won it this year. And Valencia did win the Europa League. So we have decided to loan out one of our starting players, one of our first signings, Leon Baumgartner headed on loan to the French second division. And once again, Connor Fanning loaned out. This time he's staying domestically, not going to China or wherever it was he went. Connor Fanning headed to St. Pat's. Even Hoxson is headed to Falkenbergs on loan. And we have decided to sell Bargari to Helsingborgs for 175,000 big ones. Finally have made an addition to the side, however. Gonna change up the formation as we have signed Leon Muller, from bloody Darmstadt, 1.5 million pounds for the German attacking midfielder. 66 rated, interested to see what he can do. Welcome to Cork City. But since we have Cowell and Yangi killing it up top for us, we have decided to sell O'Brien Whitmarsh. He's headed to Scunthorpe United. And once again, David Harrington packing his bags out on loan. Joshua Honahan is out of the club on a permanent deal this time, however. Headed to Damak FC for a £200,000. And we have signed ourselves a new left back here. It is the Scotsman, Josh Reed. Joining us here from Coventry for 1.8 million pounds. It is all happening this window, lads. Another signing for the starting 11. Sam Thomas. Looks a decent prospect. 64 rated, 19 years of age. English midfielder. Could be... Nah, surely. I was going to say could be the regen of James Milner. But I don't know. Probably not. Anyways, Sam Thomas. Welcome to Cork City. But there we go. Absolute chaos in Cork City. Three players in, three players out, and hopefully a title to lift at the end of the season. Get in there, fellas. We have finally won some silverware with Cork City. We are Irish League champions here. 78 points, 15 points clear of Bohemian, and then 17 points clear of Dundalk. And like I said, I hope this is the new era for Cork City, the era of domination. No Irish Cup for us though, however, as the Sligo Rovers or Sligo Rovers have won the cup. Cusini Yengi having an absolute breakout season though in our championship winning side. 18 goals, seven assists and plus four growth. 24 years of age right now, so I don't know what to expect from him, but I'm very happy with this sort of return. I'm praying, praying for the bloke dynamic player potential gets into him. But there we go, lads. Season four, we win the Irish League and we have qualified for next season's Champions League. I'm excited, lads. Can we win the Champions League in season five? Probably not, but let a man dream. <laughs> All right, so kicking off our fifth season in charge of Cork City, we have done business with Shelbourne here, selling Murphy for 150,000 pounds. And now begins the loan life cycle for Sam Thomas as he's headed back to England, Barnsley on loan this year. And we've finally decided to sell Ricardo Di Nanga. We've sent him to St. Pat's on a permanent deal for 160,000 pounds. As Thomas Blondal once again heads out on loan to Kaiser, nah, I'm not even gonna try pronunciating. Kaiser Spore, Kaiser Spore? Guess it wasn't too bad. We have decided to part ways permanently with Ryan Campbell Gordon here. He's headed to Dunkirk on a permanent deal. £510,000 in the back pocket. And Fjeldstedt is out of the club on a permanent deal as well. One of our Youth Academy products 
headed for 820,000 pounds, trying to get some money in the back pocket to make some big signings. There it is, lads. We have made a massive addition to the left-hand side of our midfield, bringing in Josh Martin from Norwich City. Four million pounds for the Englishman, 73 rated, very, very excited to see what we can do with this guy. Welcome to Cork City, Josh Martin. So yeah, just the big signing of Josh Martin into the club. Few players out of it, but I'm very happy to have a big marquee player like Martin in the starting lineup. And speaking of the starting lineup, this is how it is shaping up. Good to see uh, the defenders growing natter, surprisingly lagging behind. But the rest of the side is growing together which is the sign of a good rebuild in my opinion. If you have the majority of your starting 11 in and around the same overall growing together, I'm more than happy with that. So Nata needs a little bit of growth here. I might have a little bit of bias given the fact he plays for the Wanderers, but might need to cut him off in the future. The expectation for every season moving forward now is first place in the Irish League. No ifs, ends, or buts. We need to be dominating the league. We need to be winning every year. Currently, we're living up to that seven points clear of Shamro. It is another Champions League title though for Barcelona. And Atletico Madrid have continued the Spanish domination as they take down Sevilla. We have beaten out Eintracht Frankfurt and have signed Niall Marquis here, 19 year old English centre back, 68 rated. Very excited to have him into the side and hopefully he can grow even further than the rest of the side has right now. Also found another free agent player from England, finding a lot of English regens today, but Tyreek Pereira, 17 years of age, 63 overall. Very interested to see whose regen he could be, but regardless, Pereira joining us on a free. And we're about to get our first taste of Champions League football in this rebuild as we've been drawn up against Dinamo Zagreb in the qualifying rounds. I'm just glad we weren't facing Ajax or Lyon or Porto or a club like that. I don't know what to expect from the side, but I'm very excited to be in the Champions League finally. The first round of qualifiers, first leg at home against Dinamo Zagreb. We simulate and the scoreline. Okay, it's a 2-0 loss. Second leg here as we travel to Croatia. Gonna have to pull off a big miracle here, a big upset if we want to get ourselves through to the next round of qualifying. So we simulate and the Champions League dream is not happening this season. It's a 4-1 loss. That's a reality call. But there we go, lads. That is the transfer window done and dusted. Marquise and Pereira both into the club. No money spent. No Champions League for us. Now let's just try winning the league. We won the league, all right. 21 points clear of Shamrock Rovers. 22 points clear of Sligo Rovers or Sligo Rovers. That is domination at the highest order. No Irish Cup as well, though. Bohemian winning it again. Jesus Christ. Holy crap. Kusini Yengi, 35 goals for the Australian striker. Going up three overall again. Dude is on an absolute mad one. Oh my God. So we're making progress here with Cork City, season number five. Need to go to that next level. Need the next bit of growth. Need the next few superstars into the club. I'm having a hard time finding players to buy, but we've got to keep pushing on, lads. Let's crack on season six. This bloke's passport must be getting bloody chock-a-block. We've sent him out on another loan here. This time, Norodal is off to Sweden. Like I said, loan FC, lads. Ivan the Hawkson is headed to Würzburg in the German leagues or the Austrian leagues. He's out on loan, though. And Asbjorn Forerensen is off on loan to Nancy for the season. The English one, the kid Tyreek Pereira, headed to Heidenheim on loan. Finally, not alone. Let's go, lads. This is more hype than, uh, than winning the bloody Champions League itself. But Ronan Hurley is headed to Derry City on a permanent deal, a permanent one. Let's go. Reese Staunton falling out of favor in the starting 11. I want to try getting a little bit of growth on him, so we've sent him to Cluj. And yeah, not a busy transfer window in terms of signings at all, just loaning out players. I, like I said at the end of last season, lads, I'm having a tough time finding players for this starting 11, but we keep on moving. Let's just keep on going and trust the process. Trust it, trust it. This is what the starting 11 is looking like right now. And again, I'm very happy with the growth of the side, all sitting around the low to mid 70s. Schofield up to 77. 
And now that we've gone and put Marquise in there ahead of Nata, the side looks much more balanced. Finally, Barcelona not winning a Champions League. It's Liverpool in this fifth season or this sixth season. And Tottenham have taken down Benfica to win the Europa League. We are top of the league once again at the halfway point of the season on 45 points right now. And we have decided to send Mark Nata on a two-year loan move to Peterborough. Champions League qualifying times, fellas, as we are facing Rangers. A big conflict for me. I do have a soft spot for Rangers, but we're gonna move on and try to get ourselves into the next stage of qualifying here. This is where we fell down last year. We're gonna simulate the first leg at home and it is a 2-1 lead for Rangers. We are well and truly in this tie but two away goals for them is huge. All right, the second leg here is away at the world famous Ibrox. We're taking on Rangers. We are 2-1 down. We need a big performance here, lads. We simulate and the scoreline, it's a one nil loss. Rangers are into the next stage. We are out. So gonna try getting things moving here. Leon Muller hasn't grown as much as I would have hoped. We've sent the German on a permanent deal to Rio Vallecano. Lads, you do not understand the amount of relief, stress, and anxiety I have felt in the past few minutes. I have been working my absolute ass off to sign Paul Victor. Oh my god, we had to wheel, we had to deal, we have virtually nothing in the bank account anymore. But we have signed the Spaniard here from Girona, 8.7 million pounds, 76 rated, 23 years of age. That was stressful. But it is a window focused on attacking midfielders. Victor in, Muller out, that is massive. So happy to have Victor here. Hopefully he can lead us on the charge towards another title. And there it is, lads. We are well and truly the kings of Irish football. Three championships on the trot, three league titles. This time, 19 points clear at the top of the league. Things you love to see. Bohemian winning another cup. I just want to win an Irish cup. Why do we choke in this competition? Bro, what is in the water in Cork City? Yankee, has he been tested for PEDs or anything like that? He has scored 35 goals this year, and at age 26, is 77 rated. Man, he needs a few more seasons of just insane growth to get him up to a decent rating. Martin as well, 17 goals, 10 assists. That is very well done. What a season though for Yangi. The goal for me is getting into the Champions League group stages. That's the big hurdle we need to get over. Can we do it in season seven? We need to wait and see. As Bjorn, goodbye again, son. See you in a year's time. Off to Aberdeen for his next adventure. Mark Tierney, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little disappointed by the growth of this guy in his career. I thought he was gonna be a starter for us. I thought he was gonna be a hero, but he's been wailing away in the reserves. Finally got him out of the club on a loan move, headed to Hull City. Tyreek Pereira had an insane loan spell at Heidenheim. I think this kid could be something good. 19 years of age, 70 overall. We've sent him on another loan spell, this time to Ibar. Time running out for Hawks, and honestly, I'm probably gonna look to sell him after this loan spell if he doesn't grow, but Hawks and headed to Bolton. And we have decided to part ways with Thomas Blondel on a permanent basis, headed to Brunschwig in the German leagues for 1.15 mil. There we go, lads, biding our time, getting some finances in, getting some players out on loan. That is the January transfer window done and dusted. Let's go look at the side. Man City, Champions League winners this year. Nice have taken down Atalanta to win the Europa League on penalties. And we've actually got a bit of competition in the domestic leagues this season. Derry have put their hand up and are willing to have a little bit of a scrap here. We're only one point ahead of them. We need to turn on the Jets in the second half of the season. We have found a few rotational players here, a few regen players. Need to build up the squad depth a little bit. Kieran Murphy, 62 rated, joining us on a free. Same deal with this kid here, Tom Broom. Welsh left back slash centre back, joining us on a free on a five year deal. This kid actually looks gun though. Orges Holk, Holk Becker? Holk Becker. Swiss right winger. We spent the first season of this rebuild trying to find Swiss prospects. And somehow this kid, a regen, has turned out to be the best. Could be the Jordan Shakiri regen, but Hulk Becker is joining us on a free. Another decent prospect that we have found, Dion Sardella, a Belgian defensive midfielder, 69 rated, 19 years of age. Welcome to Cork City. Champions League qualifiers once again. Is it going to be our third attempt? Lucky. We're taking on Malmo. 
the Swedish side here. First leg on the road. Need some away goals to our name as we quick simulate things here. And the scoreline is a one-all draw. Okay, a one-all draw. We are well and truly alive in this one, but we need a big performance at home. Are we going to get ourselves through to the second stage of qualifying for the first time in our history? We are about to find out as we have a one-all scoreline here. A clean sheet gets us through to the second round. And we're headed to the second round. 2-0 win. 3-1. We're into the second round of qualifying. Not in the group stages yet. Bloody hell. All right, the second round of qualifying. We have been drawn up against the Danish side, FC Midtjylland. They are a side that are consistently in the Champions League. As well on the Bills side, the Australian absolute gun. But we are on the away leg first, which is hopefully a good omen. As we quick simulate things here. And the scoreline against Midtjylland is a 3-2 loss. I mean... They've got three goals, they've got the advantage, but we have two away goals. I'm hopeful. Something as simple as a 1-0 win will get us through to the Champions League group stages. But that is definitely easier said than done as we get into the second leg here against FC Midtjylland. This scoreline is going to be a 2-1 win. That surely gets us through. I think that gets us through to the Champions League group stages. Come on. We're in the group stages, I think, I hope, I think. I dropped out of math in year 10 at school, but surely. This is a piece of business that I was unsure about. There is a center back that I really, really want to be going in for, lads. I'm running the gauntlet here. I'm running the gauntlet, trying to get the funds to sign this defender. So we've sold Niall Marquise to FC Lorient for 10.7 million pounds. I am praying that we can get this guy. Nope, I fucked up, lads. Mr. Rebuild has fucked up. We couldn't get the guy, so I've had to settle on transfer deadline day. Deshaun Bernard, whilst he is a decent prospect, he is an upgrade. We've paid out of our ass for him, and he is not the guy I wanted to go in for. Couldn't afford the guy I wanted to go in for, and had to make a panic buy, and could only get this guy on a bloody release clause signing. We are well and truly struggling right now. It is so hard to find defenders. Fuck, I should have kept on to Marquise, but <sighs> got to keep the faith. Deshaun Bernard, don't really want you here, but I'm going to say welcome anyways, King. But there we go, lads. A chaotic transfer window. We're in the group stages. We've signed Bernard. We've wasted our money. We've gotten rid of a pretty decent prospect. i got to hold this L. <sighs> what is this group? What is this group? Holy crap. This is the group of death. To end all group of deaths. Atletico Madrid, PSG, AC Milan, and Cork City. Are you taking the piss, FIFA? Oh my god, we'll be lucky to get a point. Hey bro, we might not have gotten out of the group, but at least we got three points. AC Milan and Atletico Madrid out of the group. That was a cooked group, man. That might be the hardest group we've been put in in rebuild history. But at least we have won another Irish League title. How many is that now? Four or five on the trot. I'm gonna say four on the trot. That is great. Demolished Derry City after a pretty close start to the season. Let's go. Praise the Lord. We did it finally. We won the Irish Cup 5-1 over Sligo. Josh Martin. Okay, buddy, I see you, I see you, man. 32 goals, 10 assists, plus 4 growth, up to 82. That is wild. We're making progress, lads. On the transfer front, this is probably the hardest rebuild we've had to do, but we're making progress. Season 8, we crack on. We've got to keep the bloody faith. Let's go. All right, so I'm going to send Orgez Hokebeka out on loan here. Decent prospect. Want to get him some growth, though. Don't want to waste his potential. He's headed to Dijon on loan. And we have decided to permanently part company with Ivan Hawkson, headed to Livingston for £420,000. It is the Icelandic departure as Nordal is headed to Ostersunds on a permanent deal. And Tyreek Pereira continues to grow like an absolute madman. He's headed to Watford on loan. There we go, lads. This is the guy that I wanted to sign last season. And we are finally able to do it. It is another Brazilian regen defender. Edson Gerson Carvalho Vieira joining us here for 20 million pounds from Atlas. Welcome to Cork City. There we go, lads. We have finally got the man that we wanted into the club, Carvalho. 20 million pounds spent on his services. 
very, very excited to see what he can do for us this season. Come on, lad. Also, just quietly, you reckon Man City's doing well? Barcelona have won the Champions League this season, though, over our group mates, AC Milan. Tottenham have taken down Man United in an all English, all English Europa League final. We are currently top of the league once again, though, and there's no real race this season for it. We are 14 points clear. Goodbye, Dijon Bernard. I'd say I'm sad to see you go, but that would just be me lying. He's off to England once again, off to Crystal Palace for 15.4 million pounds. We took the L, but we've now rid ourselves of the L. Good vibes only. And I have decided to part ways here with Pal Victor. He hasn't grown much over the two years he's been here, and we have sent him back to Spain. Selling into Sporting for 23.5 mil. Probably the worst time to sell one of our starters as well, if I'm being honest though, because we now have Champions League qualifiers. Thomas is going to come into the side as we face Lech Poznan here, the Polish side. The first leg away in Poland is going to be a one-all win. A one-all win. Come on. We're still up, lads. We're up. We've got an away goal. We have found this regen player, however. It is Diego Clement Mues, a Spanish winger slash right back. 70 overall. Look to loan him out. Look to get him some growth. Look to turn him into a beast. Speaking of loaning out, we have sent Dion Sardella to Leganes in the Spanish league on a loan. And we have also signed a new backup left back here. Just trying to get some squad depth in. Rico Hoskin. All right, fellas. It is time for the second leg here at home against Lech Poznan. We have the away goal rule but it is only one goal. It's not super, super comfortable, but we are going to quick simulate things here against Lech Poznan. And the scoreline is going to be a 3-1 win. Come on, lads. We're into the next round of qualification. Making things happen here, lads. One of our first signings has departed the club. Reese Boyle is headed to Bournemouth to 16.1 million pounds. He only had 12 months remaining on his contract and refused a new deal, so the time had come. Reese Boyle, thank you for your services, but you're off to the Prem. I said that like it's a bad thing, or it might be off to the championship, I don't know, but it's not a bad thing. Well, 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 fancy seeing you here, FC Midtland. Once again, we face the Danish outfit in the second round of qualifying. Are we going to get ourselves past Midtland again and into the Champions League group stages? The first leg we simulate, and it is a 2-1 victory. Come on, lads. Come on. Big stuff. The reason why I've been selling so many of our starting players is for this reason here. For this man here. Michael, or I'm just going to say Michael. I don't know why I want to say Michel. Michael Olise, the French attacking midfielder, has joined us from Reading for 45 million pounds. Less than 12 months remaining on his contract. Had to go and do it now. The best price we were going to get for him. Olise, welcome to Cork City, brother. 84 rated. Let's go. Have also decided to sign another rotational free agent player. Dario Esparza or Esparza. Argentinian guy joining us. And Sofian Abdelawi, the Algerian striker, joining us as well. Olise into the club. He makes his Champions League debut for us here as we face FC Midtjylland. A win gets us into the Champions League group stages for the second successive season as we quick simulate here. And that is exactly where we're going. 2-1. We're back in the group stages where we belong. Woo! Take a deep breath, lads. That window was absolutely chaotic. 45 million pounds spent, 55 in. We're into the group stages of the Champions League again. Let's crack on. Also a little update on the squad size here. We are a little bit weaker on the right wing side. I need to make some upgrades there. We need to bring in a new right winger or a new right midfielder, but the rest of the side are growing quite nicely. Reed needs to pick it up though. Only 78, although so is Leal Diaz and uh, Carvalho Vieira. So a few lads needing to get their act together. But then you've got players like Yengi, like Vengal, and like uh, Carvalho Pexera, like Martin. Doing pretty well. Okay, okay. It's not the group of death, but it is not a group easy group by any stretch of the imagination. Once again, we've been matched up with PSG like last season, but also Napoli and Dinamo Zagreb. We're in group A. Are we going to get ourselves out of the group? Let's simulate and find out in three, two, one. We are. We are out of group A. 
and in to the Champions League knockout rounds for the first time in club history. It's only taken us a trillion seasons, but we are finally in the Champions League knockout rounds alongside Napoli. PSG, what is going on there? That's the second year in a row. But we are really gonna get to see what we are made of as in the Champions League round of 16, we have been drawn up against Borussia Dortmund. At the end of this eighth season, however, it is a fifth successive league title here. We almost went invincible as well. 98 points. We finish 35 points clear. This league is ours. We've also got another Irish Cup to add to the trophy cabinet, taking down Sligo or Sligo 1-0. Cassini Yengi, I honestly thought would be out of the club by this point. The man is continuing to bang goals for fun and grow like an absolute machine. 84 overall, 30 goals to his name. That is wild. But here we go, lads. Season eight done and dusted. We crack onto season nine where we get our first exposure to Champions League knockout football. Let's go. Let's bring on Dortmund. Ryan Schofield has been an absolute gun for us in the past few seasons at the club, but it's time for us to move forward. 28 years old now, 81 overall. Don't see him getting up to the heights that I want him to. So we've decided to sell Ryan Schofield to West Bromwich Albion for 37.7 million pounds. And we have found an absolute gun replacement. It is the Croatian regen goalkeeper, Simon Gomel, signing him from Brentford for 56 million pounds, 85 rated at age 24. This guy looks like an absolute beast and an end game goalkeeper for us. Welcome to the club. I'm so excited to have you, Gomel. So it's a pretty tame start to the season, but massive, massive deals. Goalkeeper in, goalkeeper out, and our side is significantly better for it. But Gomel's first challenge comes now. He's coming at the perfect time as we face Borussia Dortmund in the Champions League knockout rounds. I honestly don't know what to expect from this. I mean, we got out of a pretty tough group, but Dortmund are a tough side with some great players in career mode. We're gonna simulate anyways the first leg at home here, needing to keep a clean sheet, and a clean sheet is something we definitely did not get there. A three nil loss, jeez. All right, so a bit of a reality check after the first leg. We're gonna have to pull on a bit of a mad one here for any chance of getting to the next round. I'm not gonna waste any time. It's a pretty dreary situation. We quick sim and the score line. It's a three all draw in the second leg. We got three away goals, but Dortmund scored three again. So we're out of the Champions League in the round of 16. Dortmund ended up going all the way to the final where they lost it into Milan. Atalanta took down PSG to win the Europa League on penalties. And we are once again on top of the league, killing it at the halfway point of the season. I want to get an invincible season, not an invincible, a centurion season. We have decided to send Dario Esparza on loan to Al Shabab and the English beast himself, Tyreek Pereira, to Fulham on loan. Oh my God. I was looking through the free agents, looking for any decent players we could sign. And look who I've stumbled upon and signed the club. It is Kevin bloody De Bruyne. 37 years of age. We have signed Kevin De Bruyne to our team. 81 overall. I don't know what to expect from him. I don't know if we're gonna sell him. I don't know if he's gonna be rotational. I don't know if he's gonna start for us, but I could not resist the opportunity to sign Kevin De Bruyne for Cork City. That is ridiculous. Welcome, Kevin. Welcome, mate. We've also made another free agent signing here, just trying to bolster out the squad numbers. Jorge Marco Chimalora Payas is joining us on a free. The Iranian attacking midfielder Sade is going to join us. And here we are once again, lads. It's pretty rare that you go from having... I mean, it's weird because we have the Champions League knockout rounds and qualifying for the next season in our same season, which is fun. But we've got Helsinki here from Finland. We're traveling to Finland for the first leg here. We're gonna quick sim, and the scoreline is going to be a 2-0 loss. Oh shit. 2-0 loss to Helsinki. Right. All right, lads, we are in a very, very tough position here. Hopefully that was just a minor slip up, but we are facing Helsinki at home. We didn't get any away goals on the board. If they score, we're in a pretty tough position. We quick sim this second leg here, and we're, what? We are out of the Champions League in the qualifying stages. The first stage qualifying 
in season number nine. What? I cannot believe that we are out of the Champions League qualifying stages. That is ridiculous. That's the transfer window we've had, but I'm honestly just a little shell shock. We've fallen one point short. One point short of the champion or the bloody in the, the centurion season. I am rocked, lads. I just can't believe we still are out of the Champions League. But one point short of being centurions, one loss short of being invincibles. But we win the Irish League for what, the sixth time straight? No Irish Cup to add to the uh, cabinet this season though. Cade Cowell really stepping into his own this season. 26 goals, 14 assists, gone up three overall and at age 25, he's 85 rated. The American turning into a gun. But there we go lads. Honestly, need to reassess what we're doing heading into season 10. We need to come firing for next season's qualifiers. I've become numb to sending David Harrington out on loan, but now I've decided it's time for him to go. We've sold David Harrington on a permanent deal to Sandhausen for £400,000. Yeah, pretty dull start to season 10. I want to do some big business in the uh, main, the, the summer transfer window, but Harrington out is the little bit for now. I've been looking for a new right midfield, a new winger. I had an offer in for Evan McKnight, who was with us earlier but couldn't get it done. So this is what the side currently looks like. The growth, the growth, the growth, the growth on some of our players, wild. Golnell, 87, Wenger, 87, and just across the board, things are looking real nice. Just need things to start going well in the right midfield and the left back role. Everything else, I'm pretty comfortable with to, to, to the extent. Like, obviously I would like the center midfield to be stronger. I'd like Carvalho to be stronger, but in the grand scheme of things, happy. And I'm happy to see us top of the Irish League once again through season 10. Juventus did go on to take down Napoli in an all-Italian Champions League final. Lads! Lads! We have won the Europa League. And you know what that means? No qualification rounds in the Champions League next season. We get put straight into the Champions League group stages. But we've won! The Europa League. Maybe we're better than I expected. How do we go from missing out in the first round of qualifying for the Champions League to winning the Europa League? I'm a happy camper. Couldn't get McKnight into the club, but we have it signed. Leon Dajaku here, the German midfielder, joining us from Bayern Munich's second side for 30 million pounds. And there we go, just Dajaku into the side. Nobody out. It's happy with the starting 11 want to keep things growing. Keep moving, lads. Keep moving. You're over league chance. Let's go. So we are in the group stages automatically to start off season 10 here. We've got an interesting group, but I'm honestly full of confidence now after winning the Europa League. We've got Manchester United, Sporting Lisbon, and RB Salzburg. Can we get out of the group and back to the round of 16? Let's find out. Come on. Come up the fucking cork, City. Up the fucking cork. Let's go, top of the group. Man United didn't even get out of the bloody group. That is, that is ridiculous. We go undefeated in the Champions League group stages though, and are into the round of 16. <sighs> the round, FIFA hates us. Round of 16, we're gonna have a massive, massive challenge here. It is Liverpool in the round of 16. Okay, it's gonna be a good test. It's just automatic at this stage, isn't it? Another Irish league title to add to the trophy cabinet. But Bohemian, they win the Irish Cup. Ladies and gentlemen, Christina Yengi, the hero of this rebuild so far, 91 rated, 91 rated. This dude is a freak, what a gun. I'm so happy, Yankee. 91 rated. But we are in to the Champions League round of 16 once again. We've won the Europa League. We've won so many titles. Can we go deep in the Champions League here as we move into season 11? Let's find out. This has been an absolute grind. So I wanted some growth in the left back role. Unfortunately, there was nobody really on the market I could go in for. Liberato Kakache, though, the New Zealand left back, did have a release clause. I couldn't negotiate with the club because it had that old that old thing saying the player's not looking to move. But I activated his release clause, 
signed him on a contract, and now we have got ourselves a new world-class left back, Liberato Kakace, joining us here from St. Truden in the Belgian League for 56.2 million pounds. Did I pay out of my ass? Yeah. Did I have any other choice? No. By Rick Pereira into the 80s. I'm sending him out on loan once again to Fulham. So there we go. Did really all we could in this window. I'm happy with the side. I'm happy to have Kakache here, but I'm more than interested to see how Liverpool goes. What's new, baby? What's new? You already knew it. The Champions League titles, they're a testament enough. Mr. Rebuild, Manager of the Year. Let's go. Before we get into this Champions League game against Liverpool, however, I thought I'd give you guys a little look at how the squad is progressing. Again, a few players hitting the 90s now. Hopefully, Cal can get to the 90s. Wenger's 90. We've got Yankee to 91. It's a bloody good team, lads. It is a good team. It's been a grind so far. But I'm happy with the direction we're headed. Whew. Okay, lads. Psyching ourselves up here. It is time for the first leg against Liverpool away at Anfield. We're going to simulate it here. Away at Anfield, needing away goals on the board. And we do just that! 2-1 against Liverpool. Let's go! Come on, lads! All right, lads. I'm not getting too far ahead of myself. But we are in a very good position right now. 2-1 up. Two away goals on the board, but we cannot take Liverpool lightly. We need to come out firing. We need to stay strong. We need a clean sheet here. Go now and need a big performance from you, brother. But we're going to quick sim the second leg here in Ireland. The scoreline is a two-all draw. Come on. We're into the quarters. Let's go. Well, well, well. What a storyline is this is. It is the team that we took down in the Europa League final last year. It is Valencia versus Cork City. Let's see if we can get the wood over the Spanish side once again. We pack our suitcases, we grab our passports, and we head to Spain for the first leg here against Valencia. Needing away goals on the board. Come on, if we can get a strong start like we had against Liverpool, I'll be a very happy camper. Yes, come on, 2-0. Only if Cal got that bloody goal in the 87th minute, I would say we are in the semi-finals. We're 2-0 up though. Would have loved to be 3-0 up. Two away goals on the board. That is massive. Come on, lads. Come on. <sighs> Come on, lads. 2-0 up. Two away goals on the board. We need a strong performance in the second leg here against Valencia. For a spot in the semi-finals, the scoreline is going to be... Oh my god! Oh my god, we almost screwed that up. We almost stuffed that up, but we are through to the Champions League semi-finals on penalties. Holy crap. Thank you FIFA gods, thank you so much. Four teams remain in this season's Champions League. Bayern Munich, Leon, Dortmund, and Cork City. We have arguably drawn up against the toughest out of the four, out of the three. We've got Bayern Munich in the semi-finals. Lord have mercy. We get blessed once again, though, with the away leg at the Allianz. You guys know I love having the away legs up first in the Champions League simulations. But here we go, traveling to Munich, taking on Bayern Munich and the scoreline. It's a one-all draw. It's a one-all draw. I'll take it. We have the away goal advantage. If we keep a clean sheet, we go through to the Champions League final. But obviously, lads, that is easier said than done. Oh, my God. This has been one of the toughest rebuilds I have ever done in the channel's history. But we have one opportunity here to give ourselves an opportunity to end it. We have the second leg of the Champions League semifinals at home here against Bayern Munich. We have the away goal advantage. An away goal gets us through to the final to face either Leon or Dortmund. We're going to simulate it. And this scoreline. We're through! Come on! Let's go! Come on, lads! 1-0. We're through to the Champions League final. Come on. Let's go. Oh, my God. So, in the Champions League final here in season number 11, we are facing Leon. It is Cork City fighting up against Leon 
for a chance to be champion of Europe. Taking a look around the grounds, Manchester United have taken down Wolves to win the Europa League. We're currently top of the Irish League, and I'm praying that we never find out the result of this season. But here we go, lads, taking a look at our squad report. No real need to pay attention to the stats because it's so early in the season, but I am so happy with the team we have put together. We are certainly stronger in other areas compared to others. There's certainly certain players that I'm gonna have to focus on and really lean back on to get us a result, but we are here. We have the opportunity to end this rebuild. Oh my God, lads, I, I wanna win today, I'm so ready. I'm so, this is taking me so long to record this rebuild. I've been wearing the same shirt for two weeks every time I record this. This thing stinks like a motherfucker. But here we go, lads. It is time, the Champions League final. It is Cork City versus Leon. Come on, lads, please. like Christmas morning lads the Champions League final Cork City versus Leon let's get it done Come on, I would love something early on the board here it's Dajaku running down the line a few options in the middle as we go to Yankee Yankee with the left foot finesse and forces a good save there out of Alex Merritt gonna get somebody back here I tried to go for the slide tackle there with Venga but it is Leon going there to Edwards Marcus Edwards somebody I know quite well they get the shot and that is a brilliant save from our Croatian keeper Gomez come on got to stay alert here though got to try defending the corner Rogers swinging that in they get their header good save from Gomez do we have any option for a counter just gonna go short here Venga come on Yengi going there to Olise come on find somebody in a good spot Oh, there, I see the overlapping run coming through. We play it through there to Liberato Kakache, the Kiwi, looking in the middle, going. Cal! Cal! How are we missing that? How are we missing that? What? We're going to start the second half off strong here. I see a bit of a run there. Go over the top. Go over the top. Good ball through. Yangi. Yangi. Yangi! Straight at the keeper. Get the follow up. Get the follow up again. It's a pathetic finish, honestly. Just defend. Don't, don't lunge in. Come on, stop anything here. Benton Kerr, good tackle. How they, how are they winning the ball? Thankfully, if you had a Gomel, I would have been so filthy if we conceded that. So we'll stop the corner here, lads. Brooks, get it away. They get the header and they put it over, thankfully. Yengi, few numbers here. Going to Elise. Going to Cal. Cal, Cal, one on one. Scores! Let's go! It's Cal! Kane Cal giving us the lead in the Champions League final. Come on! Trying to defend. Venga, get back, get back, Venga. Elise, uh, we're running on fumes. Come out to it. <laughs> they hit it. Thank God. What, why are they hitting it from there? I'm told, I'll take it. I'll take it. Come on. Win the ball. We win the ball. We win the Champions League final. We win the ball and we win the Champions League final. Come on, lads. There it is. Is that full time? It's not a foul. We win. Come on. Let's go! We've won the Champions League final! I feel like falling on the ground like our players, but we have won it! We've done the Cork City rebuild! Holy shit, lads! This one has taken so long! Oh my god! If you guys enjoyed this rebuild, please, if you're gonna like any rebuild and you made it this far, leave a like. If you watched an hour into this video, however long this has gone for, it's gonna be like a four hour rebuild, and you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the bloody channel. Oh my god! Enjoy the title celebrations. I'm out. Peace. Fuck me.